Now, in our kitchen, we remember the memory of Dada Madiba with some of his favorite dishes. And according to his personal chef, uh, Ms. Toliswa Ndoyia, yes. she says that uh, he once told her that if he could choose anything that he could eat for the rest of his life, that it, would have been amasi. amasi yes, right? and he was so particular about it, according to her, that um, she had to make it in the proper way, which is, you know, milk in a calabash. Yes. Because he could tell the difference between um, amasi made in a glass jar yeah. or in a calabash. Oh, and I if she it. tried to give it to him too early, he'd ask her, why? Why are you giving me this stuff? Yeah, it's it not ready yet. It hasn't fermented exactly. right yet. So, <laughs> oh, wow. And she used to consult him at times when he was rushing her to, to give the amasi. He used to, she used to go with the calabash and be like, Tata, is it ready? And then he'd be like, no, give it a, a little while longer. So. Wow, that's incredible. Yes. But Okay, so what are we mixing it up with and how are we making okay, so it extra I mean, tr way? Traditionally, um, we eat amas. You can eat it as it is, drink it as a drink, uh -huh. or you can eat it with uputu, which is krimal pap. Yes. In Kosa, it's called umpogoko. Yes. So that's nice what one. we're making. Umpogoko. Yes, okay. okay. nice. So let's start. Here we've got a pot of water. Yes. We add a bit of salt. Mm -hmm. And then we add the maize meal all at once. Yes. Okay, so and then usually, we just... How do you, how do you judge? What's the, what's the level? level of or the ratio of water um, to... For uputu, which is drier than regular pup, it's mm. about one to three parts. Okay. Okay, so you want quite a lot of, of mealy meal to water so that yes. it, it's pretty dry. Yes, okay. Yeah, and then also another story about Amasi is that um, when Madiba was on the run, I read this in Anna Trapita's book, just yes, by the way. Yes. Um, when he was on the run and he was in safe houses, um, he used to miss Amasi so much because obviously he wasn't in the homelands, he wasn't at home. Yes. He used to put out a pint of milk on the windowsill and he almost got caught one time because um, uh, he was in a white area and of yes. course he couldn't be there and they were <laughs> hiding him out and some people were walking past and they looked up on the windowsill and they were like, but wait, only black people do that. Only black people know about Amasi, so why is there a bottle of fermenting milk on a windowsill in a white area? Oh my and then word. at that point he decided, ooh, I need to get out of here. So that was... Wow. So he really wow. was pretty passionate about it. So. And it is uniquely South African. It is very South African. We, we make it, this is where we eat it. Um, so is this the time when it's you really get in there? It's ready to stir there? now, yeah. You, I must say, you make it quite differently from the way my grandmother taught me to make pup, if you will. That Because once you get the, the flour in, yes. you're supposed to start stirring already. Well, uh, usually when you're, making, when you're making pup, that's the theory, because you want it smooth. For uputu, you want umpawako, in other words. Yes. You want it pretty crumbly. Oh, okay. So you want to sort of absorb as much of the water as possible and then only mix it in. I see. And then once it gets, you can see it's a bit stiffer than, than regular pup. Yes. And then at this stage, you just turn it down. Man, this reminds me of home, man. It does, hey? Sure. Wow. And and Madiba was very fond of traditional food. He really enjoyed his traditional food. Olisa said, um, when I fortunately met her the one time, yes. um, she was saying how if she didn't serve him, because she, she served a, you know, a myriad of things in, in the household, Yes. So from lamb to, to all sorts of things. Uh -huh. And if she didn't cook something traditional, like umpagra, for example, or amatumbo, or something like that, he'd ask her and be like, why? Why aren't you feeding me properly? What did I do? So he was a, a lover of, of traditional things. Yes. So basically, once you get to this stage, you just turn it down. Uh-huh. And then put the lid on and then sort of let it simmer. You, you want to cook it for 25 minutes. It is still milly meal. As dry as it is, you do still want to sort of cook it out. So mm. keep, give it a stir every now and then. Yep. And then at this stage, it'll look like that. So that's... Wow. That is that. uputu, we call it in Zulu. Uputu. Uputu, or okay. Mpogoko. Mpogoko in Kosa, yes. Or like we call it Kastwana, Kipapa. Okay, Ki so Kipapa in, in, in your Setuana. language is, is just... Anything yes. with mealy meal. Okay, so then you serve it. I like to serve it cold, actually. Sometimes I eat it yes. um, with a bit of sh a sugar, just for a bit of variety. Yes. And then, you, of course, you serve it with amasi. Beautiful. And, and that is also our keyword of the day for this recipe. It's amasi. You send that to 33728, and we'll send you the ingredients list as well as the recipe so that you can try out one of Madiba's favorite dishes um, at home and maybe, you know, rekindle some of those memories uh, exactly. with the family. Uh, i, I got to get into this. You know Please what's my favorite, do. though? What? After you've made papa or umpogoko, you leave it the day, right? Yeah. And then the next day, you get it and you put in a little bit of water in the pot uh -huh. and you put it at a, at a bit of a medium heat for okay. it to kind of steam. Okay. Yo! And then no. what, do you cut it up or what? No, no, no. And then after it's steamed, you then dish it up into your, oh, your bowl okay. like this and then you have either have it with amasi or with milk. It's the best! <laughs> the best ever! Okay, let's get in here quickly. So, yeah. So it's, it's very simple and everyone is probably thinking, what's so great about this? But it's great to have a connection with him in some way. And of course, food is my passion. So the, the right way for me to honor him is to cook something that involves his favorite ingredient. Mm. It's good. Zola? Yes. You're the best. Thank you. You're the best <laughs> ever. Mm. So, so good. <laughs>